Okay, uh, Richard Lewis here. Hey, um, I've installed a progressive uh, um, uh, surge protector in our tab. This is a 2007 U-shaped uh, tab. And you'll see the regular uh, converter uh, box wiring coming out this side, out the, uh, the back of the regular uh, converter unit. Uh, the orange wire that comes out of that goes into the load side of the of the um, surge protector, and on the other end, on this end, that is going straight to the outlet that goes to the outside of the tab, which you normally would be connecting to either a generator or you'd be connecting it to some kind of short power uh, pylon or something in a campground, which is the source of your 110, 115, 120 volts coming in. So you can see that the orange wire has just been cut in the middle and attached to these terminals in the progressive unit. And then the grounds are likewise attached to a metal bar that's on the back side here. This is all covered up by a nice cover so you don't have all that stuff exposed. I've just left it to show that. Right here, this is a little bit difficult to see, but this is the inner wall of the fender. The only modifications that were necessary is to try and get the wiring tucked in a little bit away from that fender well and that's also a safety concern. Um, we know of at least one tab owner who had their uh, left-hand uh, side tire uh, self-destruct and the metal cord in the tire not only ripped this fender liner out, it also grabbed pieces of the wiring that were close to, ran close to the fender and just ripped those out of the back of the converter unit and out of the tab. So you don't want the, a flat tire to disembowel the electronics on your tab. Um, I'm probably going to stick in some kind of a wall behind this uh, so that if that were to ever happen, that it would have some plywood to go through. So, uh, so the only thing I did was I uh, took loose the little connector guys off the floor, moved those around a little bit, tucked the wiring back in a little bit further to get it away from that wall. And that also gave me room to mount the the uh, surge protector on the floor. And the surge protector I got, I got one with a remote and I'm not sure that I need that but um, it was only a few dollars more and so I got that. And I'm still working on where I'm going to install the remote unit. But um, this allows you to uh, to protect yourself against campground wiring where there might be some big surges in voltage where there might be lower high voltage um, and where it could be cross the wires could be crossed up somewhere. And these are all things that could burn out your converter, uh, it could burn out your appliances, it could burn out the cool cap. Uh, so anything that's 115 volt powered that you're plugging into your tab, whether it's a hair dryer or a crock pot or a microwave or of course the cool cap itself is, is in that category, those things can all be damaged by huge spikes in the electrical. So having a surge protector is a good idea. Having one that's on board, that's mounted inside here, eliminates the problem of you putting on an external one out on the pylon and end up that getting stolen because it's very hard to secure and lock those up uh, out on uh, uh, the campground pylon. Thank you very much.